Alright guys, well while we're waiting for some parts to turn up in the mail for the old Lister so we can get on with our HHO project just filling in my time with my Lockridge device project this is an old 240 volt AC motor it was converted to a DC generator to run lights down at our little hut out in the bush but um, being a DC generator wasn't good for anything else other than lights. A little bit about this motor, the way it was set up, um, the two coils were hooked in series and one side was south and the other side was north. I've kept the field orientation the same but I've hooked the coils up in parallel and there is a good reason for this that is we can use a lower voltage to gain a high magnetic field even though we will use higher current. Um, the armature I've stripped, I've left a little bit of wire on each segment of the armature itself, the rotor I've stripped should I say, and um, so that is all ready to go to hook up how we need to hook it up. We're going to be cutting out one of these segments and filling it up with these very strong neo magnets. It will be three to four in each segment, south one side and 180 degrees on the other side, they will be all north out. Now that means we're going to also have to flip the poles of the magnetic fields within the core uh, four times every revolution and we are going to do that using the armature and also by putting another set of brushes 90 degrees around from these two uh, we will be able to flip the poles within those coils four times each revolution so it's really going to be a alternating direct current engine um, this is set up absolutely beautiful for what we are going to be doing. It needs a clean out but the brushes move on the stator which means that we can time our motor to the best possible timing. Um, the exciter windings are going to be used to collect the back EMF uh, when the run coils switch off only. Uh, I have got a 240 volt neon here. We are hooked up to a battery. These two clips are hooked up to the primary windings uh, which are in no way connected to the secondary windings. As you will see I hook the battery up and send current through the primary coils. We get a flash on the neon. When I disconnect it we get a flash on the neon. We are only going to be collecting the current when the coils open and not when they are powered up. If we collect the current when they are powered up we will cause the uh, lens effect on the rotor or a back EMF on the rotor and the motor will bog down. If we collect the uh, kickback from the collapsing primary coils through the secondary coils when the primary coils are open we will not create any lens effect on the motor itself it will actually have the opposite effect and pull the magnets towards that collapsing secondary coil so that is where we're up to at the moment uh, like I said my next job now is to cut one strip of the laminates out on our rotor put the magnets in there and glue them in with some very good strong epoxy and hope that they don't fly out. So that's uh, my little update on what I'm doing and I will make a, another video as soon as I get the magnets in place and the system wired up. Cheers from the Tin Man.